it was an era when Bengali girls or women were expected to be homely, not sporty, adventurous, and cross the stereotypes. The 1960s. Very rarely, a Bengali girl was known for her stunning career in international sports or games, with achievements which made India proud. Bengal aware about the strength of women's empowerment. This is the true story of one such Bengali girl, a table tennis legend, the table tennis queen of India and Canada of the 1970s, Rupa Banerjee. When I was playing, when I was young and I was playing table tennis, it was very difficult uh, for Bengali women especially to um, play a sport. Um, most Bengali women would dance or <coughs> sing, but uh, to take your uh, tennis racket or table tennis bat and to go to play was uh, not very popular. So I did... Um, faced a little bit of trouble uh, with the neighbors, uh, not from my family, uh, not from YMCA people, but from the neighbors, because they were always uh, so curious to know uh, when we were coming back from exhibition matches or from tournaments or, uh, and district tournaments were mandatory. Uh, we had to play four, four of them. So by the time we used to come home, it was late and people were, the, the neighbors were very concerned, who am I coming back with or uh, what am I doing and this and that. So, but I always had a very strong mind. My family was uh, supportive, so I really didn't care. But when I came to Canada, that was not a problem that got completely eliminated because nobody cared what time you came home or uh, how much you practiced or whatever. They just want to see your good results. I come from uh, a family, uh, everybody played some sport or the other. Um, my uh, grandfather was the uh, founder of DKS. Um, uh, my father and my uncle, um, they were all, my uncles and my father, they were all um, very keen on sports, especially cricket and soccer. My brother Rajan, um, who was uh, extremely supportive um, and uh, was a tennis player himself. Um, my second brother, uh, who passed away a long time ago, um, there is a pavilion um, uh, after his name in DKS because he had, um, he had um, organized an international tournament there and uh, became very famous. He was a good tennis player. My third brother, Robin, was a great cricketer. He played for um, Bengal, uh, Bihar and Orissa uh, in Ranjit Trophy. And Nachu um, uh, was a good table tennis player. Uh, he was India's uh, junior number two and also Bengal's number one. Um, so um, my two sisters played tennis. They were uh, third and fourth in Rita Suraya's time. Everybody in my family played some sport or the other and they all played well. I have been blessed to be part of that family. Rupa came from a very famous sporting family. 
her brothers were also great sportsmen all of them and one of her brother nachu was also a very good table tennis player rupa used to come to my elgin road house where we had a table and at that time in 1967 i was still playing so and i was training my nephew there amit who was two years younger than rupa and three of us had to have very very good session and i found in her a great potential to make that talk actually uh, table tennis was not the game i wanted to play um, but um, it was my mother who uh, thought that so many people from our family were playing tennis so why not put her in table tennis and um, so i got into table tennis because that was her wish uh, but anyways i i don't think i did very badly rupa banerji became bengal and india junior and senior champion at a very young age she beat world number 3 Park Meera during India versus South Korea in Kolkata. She travelled with the Indian team to play two Commonwealth Championships, two World Championships, the Asian Championship, two Afro-Asian Championships. Rupa also won the Best Friendship Cup from the women's group in China at the AAC. in 1971 she also played some test matches for india played at bangladesh open championship rupa banerji was excellent table tennis player he he was played with mixed out with me he was a very good forehand toss spin and match and backhand also with very good love and match it is because because she has sheer passion for table tennis that is what has made her great and beyond that she had an absolutely wonderful ball contact and that is why her strokes were so powerful with all this quality it was preordained that she will make the mark and she did it rupa was an outstanding girl she was gasty because in terms of determination in terms of fighting spirit in terms to win to win she is to drive the ball on the forehand side or on our forehand the terrific speed and the determination and the will to win i repeat because i have told it earlier that was a fighting spirit which rupa had when rupa left in year 1974 as number 1 and the champion of the women's singles title she was also the captain of the indian team to the us open championship held in oklahoma where manjit dua and rupa had won the silver in the mixed doubles rupa was a hot favorite to receive the outstanding contribution to the country award called arjuna award that year but as she did not return to india after playing the us open and stayed back in us she lost out from receiving the arjuna award you have to win tournaments internationally to be known uh, you just can be playing in your own country and play well and be known internationally and that doesn't happen um, but uh, we did uh, beat i i beat quite a few um international players and uh, therefore it, it was i made uh, some kind of uh, recognition there um but it is very hard you have to practice hard you have to uh, have body fitness you have to have a great coach and my strongest stroke was uh, forehand flat kill i used to smash forehand uh, quite a bit and um, i uh, 
I enjoyed that and uh, it was something I think that was my strongest uh, strength. And backhand jab. So if somebody looped against me or uh, what you call a stop spin against me uh, or hit against me on my backhand, I used to stay very close to the table and I used to just jab that. Rupa Mukherjee was a legend in Bengal table tennis. We all aspired to be her. Though she left before I started playing, but her name was famous and everybody talked about her. I was a regular visitor in YMCA Calcutta where Miss Rupa Mukherjee, that time she was Mukherjee, uh, she was always playing in YMCA in, in most trying conditions there in those years. And I had seen her, I had seen Indupuri and her playing and practicing in YMCA. And in the year, if I'm not mistaken, in the year 1973, she became the national champion, beating Vatsala in uh, the finals. Rupa Banerjee to me is a legendary player, lady player, uh, who paved the way for ladies, especially Bengali ladies, to come out from their familiar, homely atmosphere to play games along with men. That's where, that was a remote thinking of the ladies of the time to play games with men. And she paved the way for them. Rupa got married to Prasad Banerjee, who also had played for Bengal Junior Team and the Calcutta University. She migrated to Canada in 1974 and started playing very well there. Her table tennis standard went up tremendously as she got the golden opportunity to practice much more than when she lived in India. So when I came to Canada, I, um, I played and I played very seriously. I uh, won a Canadian national championship within two years. I came here in 1974 and I won the national championship in 1976. Uh, by then I was um, beating everybody and uh, simply because we had so much practice to do here, uh, which we lacked in back in India. So my game, the standard of my game went up really high uh, because there were uh, very good players here like uh, Violeta Nashkaitis. She was a world-class player. Irena Chodas, who was um, uh, Zlatko Chodas' wife, and Zlatko was our first coach here. I had um, practiced here very seriously. Uh, my game went up and I was beating all of them. Uh, and then there was another uh, woman player, uh, Marianne Domunkos, who was a very good player. And, uh, and so, you know, um, all in all, um, I played hard. I practiced hard. Um, I was working. Uh, we have to do all kinds of chores at home. But despite all that, I played and I played for a long time and I improved and the result was positive. During my time in India, especially in Calcutta, I'm, I'm talking about, I used to play table tennis, but not to that level. I played for my university and I played for Bengal juniors. And I saw Rupa playing that time in Calcutta, a few tournaments. When she came to Canada, it's her performance were, uh, had way up, you know. It was a big difference between the tournament she used to play in India and the tournament she played in Canada all over. It was amazing. I mean, it's something to talk about because she was playing international competitive table tennis. A lot of players from China, South Korea, European players, they used to come and play Canadian tournaments, many tournaments, not one or two. So it was very impressive, very, very impressive. Rupa was the coach and the manager of the Canada Winter Games held in Grand Prairie, Alberta in the year 1995. Rupa represented Canada internationally in one Commonwealth Championship, 
won World Championship and English Open and many times in the USA. It was difficult uh, because um, I was uh, winning all the championships uh, here in Canada. Um, I, I almost didn't lose to anybody and I, know, I knew that I could play for another five years on my top performance, uh, but um, I left at that time um, and uh, lost out actually. Uh, but you have to, you have to give up um, your sports sometime. And uh, that was the time which was mutually um, agreed upon between my husband Prasad and myself. She was a homemaker, absolutely you are right. And uh, she's uh, uh, and she's she's extremely good in cooking. She she never cooked in India. That's that's a funny part. She never cooked in India. When she came to Canada, I was the teacher. <laughs> I was the I was the cook and and made her know. Look, you you put little bit of onion here, little bit of garlic, you know. And she learned a lot. Now she can cook Chinese food extremely well. She can cook pastas, Italian food. She can cook uh, Indian food, food, of course. She's, she's a great cook. In case you feel in Canada, be our guest and try her food. Ontario Public Service Employees Union is the best place to work in Toronto. Uh, it's the second biggest union in Ontario. They have helped me uh, towards my table tennis also quite a bit. Uh, because uh, when I first came here, I was very young and I had never worked back in India. So uh, balancing work plus um, table tennis, it was getting very hectic, very overwhelming. I have everything good to say about Ontario Public Service Employees Union. It's the greatest place to work. And 40 years I worked there, it was as if I, I worked for only one year. always winning because uh, once in a while if you lose a tournament it makes you concentrate more it makes you go back uh, to where you began and um, it's very important to once in a while lose not that you want to you want to win every time but uh, losing once in a while is uh, it's actually good for you Immensely focused, always ready to face any challenge, Rupa Banerjee was truly the Bengali girl who redefined all odds, overcame all challenges to stand out, shine brightly, be an inspiration, make India and Canada proud and motivate many like her to dream and to make it big internationally in the fiercely competitive world of table tennis. Rupa Banerjee, a true champion. Yeah.